Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to your follow-up video on static methods. In the previous video, we created this static method that just prints a user, but this is not entirely super useful because we could just have this as an instance method, like so, where we don't need the user parameter and we can call the method directly rather than calling it on the instance that was passed in. And that works, but when we're working with multiple users, we're not going to want this method at the instance level. We're gonna want it at the class level because it generally is useful for users, but maybe not one particular user. So if you have no idea what I mean, let's just type it out and we'll see what I'm talking about. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So we're going to change this static method to take a list of user. So prefix this with list and put user inside of the lesson and greater than. We'll call this users and we'll need to do an import. So hover over that and click import list from java.util and that'll bring this code up here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna iterate through these users. So we'll say for each user u, and this will come from users, all we want to do is write it to the output. So we'll just say u dot get full name. There we go. So we're getting the full name and we can get rid of this one down here. All right, now this makes a little bit more sense because it's not tied to one specific user. So from the calling program, we can have a list of users and we can invoke that. So let's create a new user. I'm gonna call this one me and I'm gonna call the other one you. And then we'll just say new array list of type user. And then we'll say users.add. And we're going to pass in me. And we'll also pass in you so you can hang out with me. Cool. And now we can change this call. Instead of passing in one user, we can just pass in the entire list, users. And we'll, we'll probably want to change the method name to print users. So let's go do that right now. We'll go back into our code and put an S there. Let's invoke the code and see what we get. Run this and see Caleb Curry, Charles Null. <laughs> That's because it doesn't have a last name. So you can do that. You can say set last name, but I don't know. I kind of like the last name Null. So we'll just keep that Null. That way it can really confuse people when they see Null. They think it's actually Null, but really it's just the last name. That's good coding practices. And there we go. So thank you guys, that is how we create a static method. Hopefully you have a pretty good understanding. You can kind of think of the user class as this bucket where we can attach different utility methods that we might use throughout our code. So it's really handy and yeah. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one because we're gonna be talking about method overloading. Should be pretty fun, I'll see you then.